Good morning, everyone. Thank you for stopping by this morning or afternoon, wherever you are. Um, I um, was just going to play a little bit today, kind of a craft with me. Um, I have these little itty bitty tiny eyelids, and I wanted to use them because they were kind of, actually kind of expensive. Um, I didn't really like all the colors, but I can put um, alcohol ink on them and change the color. So, um, what I was planning to do, well, I have this puzzle piece, and I thought that would be cute in the Alice in Wonderland um, journal. Um, but, um, what can I put on it? That's my problem. I thought I would just make this a tuck. So, if it, when it's on the page, it'll just sit be glued down halfway and then this will be a tuck. I love these big puzzle pieces and I don't have that many options to use it, but because this is kind of, uh, you know, a fantasy type journal, I can use it. But what can I put? Oh, you know what? Maybe, hold on. I do have... I know this is not the eyelid part. <laughs> I I found it and I I wanted to try give it a try. What I do have is well I have washi and strips, but that doesn't really work. But I have washi and some flowers and stuff. Where did I? Um, I'm sorry. This probably shouldn't have been the first part. This is it's just regular paper. There we go. Okay. So that would be cute. So let's see if I don't think this any of these are gonna fit except the key. But I could do the key, put the eyelid in here, and then um have a charm or I could just I was just trying to fill up this puzzle piece and that flower is pretty but it's not um, as whim whimsical as I would like so um, hmm So part of that clock would be cut off. That might not be good. Let's just put the key on it. This is a nice big key. And then I'll put a key charm. Because I think I just got a key charm out for something. I just um, covered it with alcohol ink. I don't remember what I was going to use it on now. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, let me cut this out. Oh, I know what I was going to use it on. I was going to make a charm out of this little, this uh, lock here. And I was going to hang the charm from the, the key from it. So... I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind now. Yesterday was a very hard day for me. Um, I just um, feel like I can't think anymore. That I can't remember anything. and I don't know. I, I've I say to myself every day, I say, okay, don't worry about it. If you get a video done, you get it done. If you don't, you don't. <laughs> and every day, I sit down and I think, okay, I'm just going to play. And then I get stressed because I didn't pull everything out. I'm making you guys wait. And, you know, it's just not, it's not good. 
it's not good to be anxious is what I'm saying. So today I went back on some medication for ADD and uh, so I could focus maybe that's the problem. Well, I don't really like that key on there by itself. Hmm. But maybe with the charm, or maybe I could put a word. Yeah, I could do that. Let's kind of do it like right there. And that way I can find a little word from her digital, from Tanya's and Nanine at Collage Type. All right. Um, this is very, very sticky. So if you guys have problems getting stickers loose, I see people struggle with it all the time. You know, um, sure, yeah. <laughs> It's coming. It's coming. This one's a little tough, I guess. Um, yeah, just take your washi tape and you can even hold the washi tape until you get it laid down and then you can pull it up. And hopefully, let's see, I want to go down a little more. Hopefully your washi tape... Um, will come right off and it usually does okay so that's cute but let's um, put an eyelid in okay so I found actually this one probably could use a bigger eyelid so now I've got to change it I think I'll use a brown eyelid okay so I've got to change this little guy around. I didn't even know this worked this way. <laughs> I just figured. I just found that. Okay. I don't know. There's so many choices on it. Okay, so let's make a hole. Let's do it about right. There. And I hope that's Okay, that paper's not on that totally straight. That's why. Okay. So my plan was just to kind of use eyelets as a decorative thing. Or to make charms, but... Okay. That worked. All right. So now, um, I want to put one of these on whatever charm and one of these so I kind of yeah I think I'll just use the key I think the key no I don't know it doesn't really go with it the sepia tone it this was silver so it goes different tones when you put it on different things uh, let me check just real quick and see if I have another key. A baby one. That's already the right color. Okay. Well, see, I painted all these. because they were all silver. Hmm. And these keys are just way too big. Hmm. The point of this, having these things in this box is dumping it out and see what you got. Now that's a gold one kind of tiny. All right. 
Of course, I don't have what I need. So I'll keep this key out and it might look good with that other one. All right, I have mushrooms, I have teapot. I have these guys, but they're silver. Um, there's another teapot. I have this little bottle. Um, which I believe it's somewhere in the storyline. Um, what else did I have? Didn't I have other charms? I could have swore I bought several different ones. Okay. Let's put the mushroom on it. We can change these around, right? Now I don't know if I like the the brown thing. Okay, where's my... These jump rings. Other jump rings, but I don't know that are a little bigger. But and that takes me hours to do anything, you guys. Come on, where are you? Right here. Okay, so the charm goes on this. Alright, well, like I said, I don't know about that one. <laughs> That's not exactly what I had in mind. Okay, so, then I found these little guys. They are, let me see, I don't think I have the packaging. But they're at Hobby Lobby or your Hobby, you know, your craft store. And they're little plastic sticky things back here. And, um... They are in the department where you buy the resin and stuff. I think, I don't know what these are for. Because um, they don't tell you. So anyway, I thought I could use an image and put on there. Let's see if I have an image that will work. I got all these cards out because I thought because I can always reprint these so I could put Alice's face in there you know I was going to print some things on wallet size <laughs> to get stuff small Oh gosh. <sighs> okay, here's some things. I knew I had some small things. All right. Um, it's not tiny enough. Is that crazy or what? Let's just put Alice inside. Okay. I wonder. 
wonder if my punch, my one inch, I think it does work. I think I tested it. Yeah, I can just put, oops, cut it too small. It's not a good day again. All right. These I can put them back together on that ring. I mean that circle. Pretty sure. Nobody will know the difference. So I could ink around that. Um let me just Just going to drop that down on there. It moved on me. Come on. I was hoping that this would just take nothing to fix it. So this has a sticky back so that it's going to sit right on that edge. This is a little bit too big. I'm going to change my glasses because, um, oh, no wonder I can't see. Those are the wrong glasses. Where's my... Oh, they must be by my computer because I leave here and go there. Okay, so those were the wrong glasses. No wonder I'm having an issue here. All right, so then let's see. We could put something on the back side as well. in there. Okay. I'm going to use the top of this for something else. I already had that planned. Um, saying sure you did <laughs> this might be cuter than the other side all right so now we can set this here let's have them going the same way hmm, no that won't work it would have worked better if it was double-sided print so next time I'll know could I stamp something there I don't think I have a uh, little rabbit or anything 
bit of a flower. Yeah, let's just do that. That, that just kind of helps that. I'll save that for another one. Okay, then this one goes right on top. If you want to, you don't have to put them two together. I just did because I wanted to be more like a charm. Okay, so now we're going to punch a hole. And I don't know if I can put an eyelid in it. I honestly don't even think it needs one because it's already so just on a plain old bold pen like that and that would be cute and maybe I could put something else there I have um, I do have I had little books. Alice in Wonderland books. Where did they go? Okay, well, I guess they'll show up. I get so many things that I can't find anything. Okay, well, anyway, that's a cute little charm there. This little guy here that we just did and I'll probably change that out but then see I could actually use this as a charm on here if I put the right picture yep I could okay now so that's what I wanted to show you with those um, I they were very inexpensive um, and then they were probably half price because I usually try to find stuff when it's half price. Okay. Um, just looking to see. Okay, so then I thought I would do a little booklet here. These I, yeah, these I think were actual journal size cards. They weren't, um, I didn't shrink them down is what I'm not, what I'm trying to say. Okay, so that's going to be the back. This is going to be the front, and then um, I'm going to put papers in between to make like a little booklet. I don't know if I have any papers cut, scrap papers, but I'll, I'll do that later. I just wanted to show you what I had thought of. So this is four, about four and a half. So half of four and a half is two and a quarter here. And half of two and a quarter is, well, it's not one and a quarter, but close. So I'll just put it right here. And. Second. Okay, I want that 
to be the same as this side. precise than that in case you don't know how to do these and it looks like something yeah some of that plastic is stuck in there all right so I'm going to punch both of these together okay I'm going to put eyelets on these. Um, I was thinking of the black eyelets. I think I like the black. Okay, now this part has to be turned. I've, uh, sure, turn it. I have to look this up and see what, which ones go to what. But that looks like it might be the small one. Guess we'll know. These eyelets might be a tad bigger. Okay, let's see what happens. Cross your fingers. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's try a different one. I think I'm gonna buy me an eyelet setter thingy. Let's see if this works on this side. I mean, how can you tell? Well, it's okay. Oh, it kind of dented the... Okay. I think I tried that one. Now I don't remember which one is the good one that I use for all the time. This. Oh, okay. Well. It's weird how that split. I mean, is it the eyelet, the quality of the eyelet? That is really strange. Hmm. That's probably why I never use this. number one, I think. Okay, number one. I mean, I know that that's the correct um, eyelet punch. It's the eighth of an inch one. I can't get this. Maybe I'm putting it on backwards. No, I don't think so. 
This is how I do my other ones, the bigger ones. I don't know, how can that be so bad? Didn't I use one of these little ones already somewhere? No, maybe not. Oh, it was a big one. I have a feeling I tried this before and it didn't work either. What else could it be? I know you just um, know, you guys know what to do and I don't, I just don't, I don't get it. I mean, there's a picture of the eyelet going This way. I can't get that on there. Okay, so if the picture of the eyelid is going, yeah, up like this, and that's supposed to, maybe that's supposed to go that way. Maybe I've been doing it wrong. Still crooked. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm sorry. Um, so then I was going to put um, papers in there and the large jump rings, the larger ones. These are too small. See how much time have I wasted? Hmm. All right. Oh, there they are. Gosh. These are not the jump rings I want either, so I must have some more. Um, somewhere. Hmm. I actually need to put the papers in before I use these anyways. I'm going to redo all this. Redo it. All right. So that's the way it would be, which I've seen, you, you've seen that before, but I've never used the eyelets. I've always just punched the holes and yeah. All right, well, let's see. I can't do what I was going to do because I wanted to punch like... Well, I wanted to put eyelets in these, which I can't, and I was going to punch different sizes. There's the card I already punched out. Well, even if I punch the cat, that won't work. I don't want that. So, because I wanted to do something like, you know, three of these circles and then punch, and it would make a little charm of its own. But, um, yeah. So, in this one, I thought I could take 
That's a zipper, I think. Not a zipper. These are stickers. I don't know if I bought these or these came from Alicia, but I thought they would be kind of cool. Some of them. Okay. You could write a little note on the back of this or something if you wanted, if it was in your um Okay, so where is my... I think I'll put a little hole. I don't want a big hole. I was just going to put it up here in the corner. Okay, and then put a bullpen in that. Just, if you don't have charms, this is my thought, was, you know, a lot of times we make things and we don't have a charm to go with them. And, um, so this way, you know, you can just do this and take a sticker and turn it into a charm and turn off, you know, several things you could do to, to turn it into a charm. This one I can't do because, um, this is not cardstock. I was just... And I hate to cut these out because, well, they're not going to show anyway. Um, but even so, you could still put two of these together and make a, a charm. Let's see, what do I have? Another... looking for something else like a punch to put on the back um, I know I have a um, I was looking for something, uh, I was looking for blue, the color blue. I don't like this one. This is where she looks scared. Forgot about that. It's not my favorite. I am so disappointed that I that eyelet thing is not working. And you could put um, that stuff over it. What do you call it? The uh, glossy accent. Okay, I'm just going to put this I'd like to add a little charm. I have all these little charms. Let's see, what can I add? That one little teapot is loose. Look at how cute it has a little chain coming from it. 
I don't think that, com that comes off. This might be way too heavy, but... Yeah, it's kind of too big. Alrighty, well... Oops. Sorry about that. Kind of needs a little flat charm, or I have to put one of those rings on it so it'll lay down better. That's kind of cute. So you could actually like glue this to a journal card, right, or on the side of something. That would be cute. All right. Well, I'm going to let you guys go. I just, um, like I said, I was just going to play. And I really, I really disappointed in that I couldn't uh, get the eyelet thing to work. I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. I could put eyelets and all kinds of stuff. Um, I mean, I would have put an eyelet in here. And I still might. I just got to figure it out. I have an eyelet setter thingy that... Um, someone gave me this. Well, my friend uh, Cynthia did. And I didn't know what it was. And then I was looking for a setter online and I saw one just like this. So then I tried to punch a hole. Let's see. I think this is the setter part. And this is the hole um, part right here. And then there's different sizes. But I tried to make a hole and it wouldn't cut. So I think it's because the surface wasn't hard enough. But maybe I'll try this on the eyelid. All right, let's do one more try. But I've got to set the eyelid on something. I don't see like a can't get it out. All right, let's get a little eyelet. Actually, one of these like silver looking ones would look better. Yeah, it doesn't look better. All right, just one more try, you guys. One more try. Then I'll do the video all over. I'm just kidding. All right, so there we have that. So am I supposed to set this down on there and hit? Let's try. It's going to be a little loud. Okay. Let's try again. I think that's that would work. I just need a, a harder surface that doesn't bounce. I probably bounced the whole camera. I'm sorry. Uh, not too much. Okay. So, um... Maybe I do have an eyelet setter, I just didn't know it. Which will work much better than this one. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's put this back in here. And then I can attach it on the top of a tag or something. All right, now I'm gonna let you go, now that I've figured it out, all right? So I'm gonna have fun just doing the rest of these the way I want. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.